Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is a, the, a new tutorial on how to use the Merced UI library. Again, this is a front-end framework I created. It's essentially a framework built around the Web Component API. Um, similar, there's a lot of different frameworks that are, that are trying to build sort of abstractions over the Web Component API. A lot of them I found to be kind of verbose and trying to too, too different um, and not fin doesn't have enough of a familiar feel. So the idea here was I try to kind of bring back a lot of what you might be familiar with, with React, with state, props, um, reducers, um, and then also create some new fun tools for working with forms and give you flexibility to, all the flexibility that the Web Component API gives you, but some tools to make it a little less verbose. That's sort of the goal here. And I kind of went through several iterations of these functions. So if you see my other videos on the parts of this library, as you can see, I kind of went through lots of different ways of creating components and trying to find sort of the best way to do it. So we want to bring in the library. So you want to get the CDN link from the docs. So then you can just look up Merced UI in GitHub. You'll find it. And then in the, the link will be in the video description. We'll grab the CDN link. We will make a script tag before our app.js, our, our custom JavaScript script. Yeah. No, why it's not letting me do a normal snippet. Okie dokie. Well, not going to find it. So they do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. Copy that there. Car set UTF eight and add my defer keyword so that way the DOM doesn't load faster than the script. And it's complaining. Why? Oh I have to put a close the script tag. Script. Good. Now we're in good shape. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out. Let me just see here, was there and yep, okay. So first off first, we're gonna just learn how to create a basic Hello world component on your in your HTML. It's very simple. Okay, there's a lot of different ways to create components. There's actually really like there's three functions in a class on how to make a component. Um, we'll show you different ways. So I'll show you two ways to make a component right now. Um, there are other ways you can read the docs and you can kind of see what the benefits and pros and cons of those are. But the easiest way is just to use the quick component function. Okay, and the quick component function takes a few different parameters. So the simplest thing to do is we're going to give it a name. So we're going to pass in the name, which is just the first argument. Uh, we'll just say test. Test has to have a dash in it. Web component rule that there has, it has to be a two part name with a dash in the middle. That's for all web components. Not that, that wasn't my doing. That's a web component API. Um, then you need to pass in a function, like what does this thing look like? This is what I refer to as the builder function. You also, in like React, it's referred to as the render function. But essentially, it's the function that builds out your template. Okay? Basically, it just has to return a string that's going to be your HTML. So I'm just going to create do a, create the function separately. So const test builder. I always just like to name it, like the name of the component builder. So test builder um, equals. Now, this. This builder always gets past the state and props. I'm not going to use the state and props right now, but just that way you're in the habit of always putting state and props when building out your builder functions. Okay, and basically we're just going to return a very simple string. I always just use the backticks, and we're just going to return h1 hello world. Um, h1 hello world and then if you want to use state you define your state just but just I just usually just create a variable called initial state um, and then it's just gonna in this case I'm not gonna use state yet so it's gonna be just be an empty object and we'll leave it at that and that's essentially all you need so then I just pass in as my second argument the builder so that's the test builder that's gonna be the function that just renders our component every time and then our initial state okay and that should give us a component that's basically a hello world. Okay, so now I can go back to my HTML and go to my body tags and do this. Test, test, slash, test, 
test, test, save. Cool. Now when I open this in, I already have a tab open with it. If I refresh, you should see hello world. There we go, hello world. And there you go. That's it, that's all it takes to make a component. Okay, like that was like what? Less, like seven lines of code and just a lot of spacing. Okay, I mean, I could have defined those things within the parameters, but see, this is just like a lot cleaner looking, so you can kind of see what's going on. And with those pieces, the other way you can make a component is through a class, okay? Quick components, so that way you can do it really quickly. If, But if you're willing, basically all it's doing is underneath the function, it's building out this class for you. But if you want all those same features, but you want to give it more flexibility, you want to add like all sorts of like methods and all sorts of other fun stuff, then you're going to want to use a class. So if you want to define it via a class, you would just do this. So const, um, you would just do const um, test test two. We'll just call it test test. And we'll just do it caps. And it's going to extend const. Oh no, not const. Uh, let me just erase this. Class test test extends merced element. Okay, so basically merced element extends HTML element. HTML element is a native element for creating HTML tags, but it doesn't have like state and props built in. So merced element has all that built in, so you don't have to worry about it. It's just it's there. Okay, and the basically the way it works is we define you're gonna bring in the constructor. You don't need to pass in any parameters to the constructor. Although we do need to call the parent constructor. So you're going to hit super because the Merced element constructor, that's where we're going to feed in the very same things we fed in over here. Okay. Except it's basically the same things except without the name. We'll do the name afterwards. So essentially the way to think about it, it's, it's builder state, then a reducer, but we'll talk about a reducer separately. So basically all I need right now is pass in is the test builder and the initial state okay and there we go that's almost done but i gotta actually make the html tag so that's going to be merced element dot make tag and then you put in the name which will be test test two and in the class that it's attached to which is test test okay so technically what this is doing is literally what this function is doing. Okay, when you pass this stuff in the function, it's just literally doing this. Okay, well you can see it just saves you a couple lines and makes your code look a little cleaner. Um, the only the bit the benefit of it is is that now if I wanted to, I could start naming, I could start making custom functions for this class here if I wanted to. So that's the reason why you would use the class versus just creating it using this function. So if you need something other than the builder, the state, basically you need to go beyond state and props then you want this, that you, or you would want to do it this way. Cool, but this works pretty much the same way. So now if I go back to my index.html and I'll copy this over, control C, and I'll just add the two. They're essentially both using the same function, so it's all gonna work the same. So you're just gonna see hello world a second time. So if I hit refresh, and now you see two hello worlds. So there you go. That's all it takes to create a component. Okay, that's it. Okay, so there, um, again, this is this is one way. This is another way. So let me just kind of separate it out. So either way, you have to make your builder function and define your initial state. But I could either just do that or do that afterwards. That's it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to keep it separated like that as we do these tutorial videos. So that's the basics. I will see you guys in the next video.